Hello everyone and welcome to this BitPay tutorial for beginners. In this tutorial, we'll be showing you the features of BitPay and how to use it. Right away on our screen, you can see the BitPay app, which we've already downloaded on our App Store. If you're using an Android, of course, you could use a Google Play Store. And now we have the app and we're going to open it. This welcome page is made of three and it simply says seamlessly buy and swap, send crypto at your favorite places, keep your funds safe and secure. Now at the top right corner, you can see login, but at the bottom, you can see get started or continue without an account. Now it's important to create an account for the purpose of using this app. As for beginners, you might not have an account. So we're going to tap on get started. And right here, you're going to put some details such as your first name, your last name, your email address, password, and you have to agree to the terms and conditions and opt in for promotional emails from BitPay. This is a choice, of course, but you need to agree to the terms and conditions. So we're going to go ahead and fill in the details. Great. So now we have our first name, last name, email and password. Next, we're going to take on the I agree to the terms of use and privacy policy. Now, the second box is optional, so you can ignore it if you want. We're going to go ahead and click and create account. And on this page, you need to verify that you're not a robot. After doing that, you can tap on create account again. Then here it says an email has been sent to your email address. And you'll need to go over to your email address to click on the link and verify your account. And now we're here in our email inbox and we're going to scroll down where we have verify your email address and there is a complete verification button and it's actually a link. So we're going to click on it, choose your browser and here you can see email verified. You can tap on login and you can put in your email and password right here, but we prefer to continue on the app itself. So we're going to go over to the app. Now, as you can see in the app, automatically after verification, it's taken us to this page where we can see our name and our email address. This is good because right now we have our BP account set up already. Now, there are some options to take note of under account settings you have received via email address. And this option is basically receiving crypto without a wallet address or QR codes. If you tap on it, it's asking to set up a two factor authentication if you'd like to use your email address to receive cryptocurrencies. So we're going to go ahead because this is important for your account security. So we're going to tap on two factor authentication. And then right here, you can see the two factor authentication setup page. Now, in order to do this successfully, you need to have your authentication app. Now on this page, there are three steps to follow. You need to first of all, download a Google authenticator or any other authenticator you might be having. And then you're going to tap on copy to factor authentication setup key. After copying it here, you're going to go over to your authentication app. Register this account on your authenticator and copy the verification code. So we're going to go ahead and do that right away. So right here, we're going to copy the 2FA setup key. We can say got it because it's been copied and we're going to go over to our authenticator. So right here, we're using a Google authenticator and we just have one account here. At the bottom right, you can see the plus icon. You can tap on it. And here it says enter a setup key or scan a QR code. Because we're using the same device, we're going to use the setup key, which we copied. We're going to put the account name. It's a BitPay account and you could just say my BitPay. And then you're going to put in the key right here, which we copied from BitPay. And then you get to choose the type of key. There are two options, either a time-based or a counter-based. We're going to leave it in the time-based, but you can choose the option you prefer. At the bottom, you can tap on add, and then you can see my BitPay has been added. Great, right? So the best thing to do is to copy the code right now and take it over to BitPay, which is going to wait for the timer to start afresh so we can have some time to do it properly. So a new code is here. We just tap to copy it, and then we're back on our BitPay app, and we're going to put the code right here. And now automatically it says updating account. We're going to wait for this to happen. And here the two-factor authentication is now enabled. The only button here is to go back to settings. Now back at settings, we find ourselves on the page where we were before we set up the two-factor authentication. Now there are two options. Once again, we could tap on two-factor authentication just to show you that it's currently on because we have the disable button and it's here because it's currently enabled. Then going back, we have the option to receive via email address. We can tap on it. And here it says to choose your primary wallet to receive payments. Decide which wallet you'd like to receive funds when crypto is sent to your email address. So you will need to create a wallet so you can receive your cryptocurrencies 
when you're receiving it through your email address. If you'd like this option, you can go ahead and simply tap on the add wallet option and you have the option to create a brand new wallet by tapping on new key, import the key if you have an existing wallet previously, or you can use the multi-sig wallet. Now, in order to get out of here, you can look at the top left corner where you have the back arrow. You can tap on it. And here is actually the homepage where you get to see the details of your BitPay. Now, at the bottom, you have different options right here. You have the home button. The next one is the pay with crypto option. And then the third option is the transactions icon. When you tap on it, you have the option to buy crypto, sell crypto, exchange, receive, send, and buy cards. Now, some of them are enabled and some of them are currently disabled. For example, it's easy to have your buy crypto enabled because you're just having your account for the first time. Now, the sell crypto is not active because we don't have any crypto, so you don't need to worry if you're not seeing some of these buttons active. It depends on if you have some crypto. So we're going to choose the option to buy crypto. You can put in the amount you want. It's actually in USD. So we can say 25 USD, tap and continue. And then you get to choose the crypto you'd like to deposit into. So we're going to tap on choose crypto. So we're going to search for USDT. And here you have your USDT and you're going to select it. And then you're going to put in the amount and view the different offers. That way you can actually get to buy some crypto. Now still at the bottom, the fourth button, here you can tap on it and you get to see pay bills straight from your wallet. You get to sign up or use your account already. And then the last button here at the bottom is to spend crypto like cash, better than ever. Basically, you can use BitPay to spend or make purchases. However, at the time of recording this, you can see that BitPay has currently paused this service. In the future, we can expect this to be available. However, at the bottom, it says BitPay card available to US residents only. So if you're not in the US, this will not be for you. Going back to home, you can see my crypto and at the top, you can also see your portfolio balance. At the top right corner, you can see the QR code scanner where you can use to scan some other code. So if we tap on it, it's going to ask us to access the camera, which is for the first time, understandably, because we're just having this account. Tap on allow, and then it's going to have access to your camera. When we go back, you can see your initials at the top right corner. When you tap on it, it's going to take you back to this page where we found ourselves when we were just starting. Now, one more thing we'd like to show you is to create your own wallet. Now, before you're able to use BitPay to do anything, you need to create a wallet. Now, there are two options here on the home page. And in order to get here, you just need to tap on the home icon at the bottom left corner. Now, while we're here, we have two options at the top area here, just around the center of the screen. And you can see create, import or join a shared wallet. And the second option is for Coinbase owner. So if you have a Coinbase account, you can add actually connect your Coinbase account right here. So we're going to choose the first option to create, import, or join a shared wallet. So here again, we have new key, import a key, or multi-sig wallet. Now we're going to choose a new key, and it's already trying to create a new key for us. Now it's taken us to this page where we need to back up our recovery phrase. Now we can choose to do this later, but if you want to do it now, which is of course recommended, is to tap on the back of your recovery phrase. The steps to follow are pretty easy. You just need to follow the instructions, such as storing your secret phrase in a safe place. So even if you lose your mobile device or your account, you can have it again using the secret phrase. So just to show you, we're going to tap and back up your recovery phrase. It's important to keep this super confidential. So we're going to simply go ahead and say verify. And as you can see, you're tested to fill in the words after you've saved your secret phrase already. In this case, you need to put in the third, tenth and the fourth word. Confirm it and you can see the phrase is verified. Now, there are two important checkboxes here, which says my funds are held and controlled by this device. BitPay has no custody, access or control over my funds. You can check on that. And then it also says you need to check on BitPay can never recover my funds for me. So we're going to check on that. And this allows you to agree and continue. Great. So now you've created your wallet on BitPay, you can go ahead and make some other transactions such as expanding your portfolio, connecting it to your Coinbase or creating and importing more wallets. Then here you have the option to shop with crypto. You can tap and see all to see all the other options where you can use to make purchases or transactions with your crypto. You can actually do more by looking at the exchange rates here and they're really different. And also you can tap on any coin 
and then use the option buy Shiba Inu, in this case to purchase Shiba Inu. There are some other quick links which you can use to educate yourself on how to use BitPay even more. So at this point, we've been able to see how you can create your BitPay account, how to safeguard it using the two-factor authentication, how to create and protect your wallet, and how to make other transactions here on BitPay. We hope at this point, you're able to use BitPay as we're now more conversant with the app. So go ahead and download the app, follow the instructions in this video, and see what more you can do with your BitPay.